Now, Paul, there are the salad greens. This is I've how to make. Um, washed, washed these already, Ooh. and as you can see, they're in a colander. There's a bit of water there, as you yes. can see. Now but Annabelle will catch that later. Now, this is really significant, Paul, that you mentioned water with these. These are washed thoroughly, and even when the salad greens say, you know, they're already washed, I like to wash, because you yeah. you've got to avoid... they lie. They lie. They basically lie. What you need to do is get a clean tea towel. Now, here's a tip. If you have make a salad and all the dressing ends up at the bottom of the bowl, it's because you haven't dried your salad greens properly. Now, you can, of course, invest True. in a salad spinner, or you can do what I'm going to show you to do here now, Paul. Just swing it around your head. Exactly. And you close pepper the entire kitchen with it water drops. Are you ready for this, Paul? Yep. Swing it around. <laughs> no, 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 no. More of a rotary motion, Paul. More. That's. You look like you're a member of the band. Oh dear, now, oh dear. My glasses. Now look at your glasses. So. <laughs> what we've done now is taught you that it really is worth getting a salad spinner. Yes, and it's it? worth getting Now, find a, a small plate. It would be ridiculous to get a big plate. Yes. Spring onions don't like being prepared earlier. They go all brown and funny. So you're best to just chop up your spring onion like so just before you need it. So how long before they go brown and funny? Well, sometimes about an hour or so. It's just a good idea just to do them fresh. You just use a little knife. You don't, you know... What, as opposed to a chainsaw? Yes, as opposed to a chainsaw. Now, scatter the spring onions all over <laughs> the salad. Just use a little knife. No, just use a little, don't use the chainsaw. Well, since I've seen people sometimes with scissors. Yes, you can do that. <laughs> but, but never. It doesn't get out much. Never with scissors um, and spring onions. A little bit of fruit. Right, now, I know, nice. now this is a really interesting thing here, I'm Paul. iffy on this, but Paul's but a bit iffy enough. on this, but the reason he loves the salad is because it's got the beautiful, beautiful um, uh, dressing. Even like with the, with the Hawaiian steak, which is a sign of no class at all. Um, having the, having the uh, what is it, pineapple on top of the ham? Uh, what are you it's eating? It's not you. Is it dessert? Is it, what is it that you're eating? So just don't ever order it, um, unless you're completely without class. Now, we've roasted these nuts before, <coughs> and I, I know where I was. What you can do is scatter a few of these around the salad. You can tell whether an uh, avocado is ripe by squeezing just here like so. If there's a little bit of pressure... So is that one ripe? Yes, this one should be okay. Let's have a look. We'll get rid of it. But the thing is, don't do this in front of your guests, because you don't want them to see you doing this. Oh! Do you, get how do you, the get, the, how do you get the stone out? Do you do it with oh, a knife? Oh, you can use it with Boom. a spoon. No, I'll show you. No, no I'll, show, I'll you. show you my way. This is not an ideal knife. You go like this. Oh, Shana. You're too Shana. clever. Stone in, oh. stone out, in, out. What a beautiful... Now that is good. Isn't that a beautiful avocado? This dressing is spectacular. It is a combination of mint and parsley. It is just so good. I made that earlier. Made it, make it the day before because it actually improves. Follow the recipe that's given. It's just spectacular. Just drizzle a little bit of dressing onto the salad like so. Don't overdress your salad. This chicken is looking perfect. Actually, it's looking nice. It's it? looking really, really good. So, Paul... And because it's taken us so long, I'm quite hungry. <laughs> <laughs> it's just falling it's apart. It's all falling apart. That's it's a great... eating itself. That is a great... That's what you want with your chicken, Does okay? this one... This one doesn't have a, a lemon in its bottom. No. Does it? No. no. No, okay. Would you like to put one in now? No, no. I don't want to touch its rear end. <laughs> okay, darling. Where are you going to so put that? On the board, just to cool down. Just to cool down with the lovely warm bacon which we just cook so off and chop off. And just chuck that down there and put more paper towels on top. This cooking segment was brought to you by Paper Towels. Dippy dab, dippy dab, dippy dab, dippy dab. That's good, Paul, that's good. And look, look at that. that. Isn't that good? Mm. Now, Paul, I mm. know you're hungry. Now, keep the bacon, serve the bacon warm with the salad. That's really, really yummy. We're a little bit time poor today, so we're just doing this at oh. home. Guys, don't do this when the chicken is hot because you're going to get limp leaders. But you're, you're forgiving. You know you're what forgiving. you can do with this? You can oh. eat this. You could eat this and look, look at this, at that. guys. Oh. Come in closer. Come in closer Shall to the I camera. Can't... Look at this. I mean, how good? How good it's can a chicken salad be? A portion for one hungry person. Right. <laughs> Shall I go and take this and put it in the formal area? Yes, why don't you do that in the formal area and then we'll come back and make a sandwich? I think, in actual fact, 